Well, happy Monday, everybody. I know it's a little bit later in the day for a video, but I had a lot going on this weekend. Uh, most of you know the auction Friday night, then you get everything shipped out on Saturday. And then I've been starting to prep for a, show, a card show this weekend up in Louisville, Kentucky. And then a few other things that we're working, like Zoom and everything, to try to, you know, bring different methods out there for people to either trade, buy, sell, stuff like that. So there's going to be a few different videos coming out this week. And I had a lot of uh, either comments, emails, instant messages, and stuff on the different videos. And I want to touch bases. I haven't stopped doing the scamming videos. Um, at first, it was more of like teaching awareness of different types of scams, how to check for them and stuff. Because trust me, there's scams going on every day. And it's mostly off of like Instagram um facebook stuff like that there to where people are either still in identities or you know requiring friends and family not sending out and i've seen guys actually taking legit businesses pictures that don't have an instagram and putting them on there and people think it's them and send them money it's insane so no i haven't stopped doing the scamming videos it's just i'm keeping more uh stuff open for the fact that if I see something that triggers that, you know, I need to put out there to show, I am. Whether it's a break-in scam, eBay scam, Instagram scam, um, whether it's, you know, questionable slabs out there that uh, we could talk about. Uh, there's so much that we did in the, back, in the back where I don't want to keep hitting, like, shilling videos all the time because I think we, you know, hammered that into the ground, but... Eventually, well, I'll probably do like more of a refresher video uh, later this month on shilling because that's something that's really common out there. Uh, with that, I mean, you know, the videos I want to try to start establishing a little bit more. Uh, and like I said, I'm not pushing scams away by no means at all. So I want to get more people involved into the videos by hosting maybe like some zoom talks and stuff 30 to 60 minutes with that being said i just talked with uh on email with jeremy from uh, bst sports cards they're getting ready to launch in two sundays it's like 13 days away i am going to do a separate video on that for this week uh so that way it'll stay fresh in everybody's minds and I, I need some assistance with it from people so be on the lookout for that video and also, I've been keeping my eye on the market with different things going on. And trust me, this hobby is so huge right now with things expanding. And for me to grab it all in after, you know, say like an eight-hour day of work, and then try to, you know, put my two cents into it, I want to make sure that I'm giving out a hundred and you know percent into that video, along with all the knowledge that comes around, the checks that I've done with it you know, talking to various people. And there's going to be some different content coming out this week. Um, one's going to deal with, uh, some people ask me about what do I do to set up in card shows, be on the look for that. Uh, one's about some new stuff the PSA is doing. And then I'm going to, you know, do a live Zoom where I'm going to bring some people in off the channel to ask Jeremy questions on the website. And then we'll post that video either the day prior to launch or as soon as it does launch, so that way you guys can go to the website and take a look at it. I just haven't really chose which day I'll end up posting that video out. But I want to be able to also get people's thoughts, because I know you guys take a lot of time into some people doing their comments. And we're talking paragraphs long or emails that are, you know, really long. And I think it'd be good to have, if you have the capabilities to go on Zoom, you don't have to show your face on Zoom. So you could just be on there to where you talk off your phone and you'll still be able to see whatever is going on in Zoom too. But it, I don't want to use the word collab because it's used so vaguely with YouTubers. Um, but I want to bring other people in, whether they have channels or not, just to have conversations with and post it to see just the talk that's going on out there. And at the same time, from it brings a lot more knowledge, whether, you know, it's, hey, look out for this stuff that's going on, to, hey, the market looks like it's going this way and that way. It'll allow you to draw your own conclusions, but you'll get to see and hear other people into it. 
But, you know, it might just be like one video a week or something on to that. I don't want to make it into like a huge podcast or anything like that. I'm starting to lean into, um, I have a Facebook group, as most of you know, Extreme Car Breaks does have its own Facebook group, which we haven't used really in probably about a year, year and a half. I'm thinking about pushing a lot of traffic onto that um, just for people to use to buy, sell, trade, along with allowing, you know, if you're somewhere stuck somewhere and you can't get a hold of anybody, you could post a picture, is this card real, take a look at it type deal, or do you guys think there's something wrong with this slab type deal, and let other people who have a lot of knowledge out there be able to answer that for you. So... Little things that are in the work for this month, um, but you will have. There's some good videos that are coming out this week, and I know a lot of people are like, "Oh, don't go away from you know showing us what's wrong in a hobby." But I don't want to continually show what's wrong with a hobby. I also want to bring some light, good stuff that's going on too, kind of like balance out the good and bad, if that makes sense at all. And as always, if you guys have ideas or topics, I know we're gonna hit. Uh, one video it's coming up, it's going to talk about marketplace or platform selling fees and how they're just going to keep going up. And next year, there is a lot of talk with different laws dealing with the Wayfair, sales tax and all that. And if it gets passed, what that's going to mean for this hobby and the casual person, it, you know, it's using PayPal and, you know, how that could really flip a lot onto it as well. Um, so be on the lookout for that video. There's a lot going into it. And what I've been doing is recording different clips of stuff that I want to use. And then I don't know if I'm going to piece that all into one video or just do one, you know, long length video covering all the aspects to it. So there's going to be some good stuff coming out, some different things that I've noticed. Uh, you know, that I'm picking up on the side. I'm not talking like sports cards and stuff like that. And I'll just give you an example real quick is that the prices of the top loaders are going to be increasing significantly this year, along with how far they are backlogged onto that stuff to where, you know, it's going to affect breaks. It's going to affect people selling and everything like that. And I, I think by doing that into a video with other people that you know, have to go out and buy cases of top loaders or uh, sleeves to semi-ridge protectors for grading can start speaking on their experience, just not as well as mine, too. It'll bring a little bit of a different content to the channel. And as always, if you guys are catching stuff wrong, feel free to send it to my email and stuff like that. It's always linked down below. Um... If you want to start, you know, participating, you know, or I don't shouldn't use the word participating because it kind of sounds like I'm at work still in a way. But if you want to start, you know, coming into the Zooms once we start doing it, just hit me up on email and I'll send out emails to people where you have to click the link, download Zoom, either to your phone or desktop. But it's all free. It's nothing that costs you anything. I'm paying out of pocket to host it each month and, uh, I want to be able to do it to where people could talk and build relationships. If you guys remember back in the sports card show days, that's how you built your relationships before the age of the internet. You went to shows three, four, eight hours away, and you made deals with people and relationships to where you were able to count on them. And then we slowly started going into the internet era. Oh, late 90s, but I didn't really see it start using in cards till about, I don't think when it was, and them forums came out, 2001, 2002, maybe. And people started using that to where, you know, you were able to show what you were getting, like, oh, I've been looking for that card for three years type deal. So, a couple different ideas, like I said, they'll be floating out there and stuff that's happening just to, you know, bring some different aspects for people to be able to sell from it, don't get to go to shows. And I really do believe that it's a topic that's going to be coming up about card shows and how they're, it's going to change a lot as well, too. So don't worry, I didn't, I didn't walk away from the scamming stuff and the uh, more of the educational background on everything. It was just that uh, a lot of deadlines had to get pushed due to the fact of things that are happening out there right now. And one 
thing that did push it out was PSA raising prices. I had to push a ton of orders out, and just not for myself. I actually handle two people's uh, uh, PSA accounts while they're deployed right now for the military, and I have their cards here, and I wanted to get as much as I could out for them as well, too. But I've also known them probably for, I don't even know, 10, 15 years, maybe more. Yeah, definitely more. But, um, yeah, to, to just be able to look out for some videos. If you guys got suggestions for videos, uh, best way is usually to email me, so that way I can flag the email and put it into a folder that I have already built. Because a lot of times I'm writing stuff down on uh, stickies on my computer and stuff, and believe it or not, I have a crazy cat that uh, likes to grab them and run with them, and then I find them like a week later hiding like underneath the couch or something. And I'm like, this is where this went to. <laughs> If you guys have pets, you guys know what I'm talking about, or small kids just grabbing a hold of stuff, too. But all right. See, this is going a little bit long and lengthy here, but I wanted to get a video out real quick for today. Uh, be on the lookout for some stuff this week, and I'll catch you all live Saturday night. I should have them Inception boxes in Friday because I got stuff scattered with orders between different distribution sites for the same company they're trying to work and get them all into one something went on with all that but i will talk to y'all later have a good week and i will definitely see you all live i'll try to get some recordings too from the uh card show saturday take care everybody